Welcome to another episode of Discipline Engineering. So this episode is a holiday edition for those of us who do not celebrate Christmas or for those of us who this holiday is not significant for us. You still have people in your life, people who still celebrate the holiday festivities, people that are a part of who you are, that recognize this time of the year as important part of their celebration. So I need you to do me a favor. I need you to understand where they are coming from and I need you to celebrate with them. I need you to let them know that you appreciate them, that what is important to them is important to you. That even though you might not celebrate Christmas, even though you might not celebrate this holiday season, you recognize that it's a crucial part of their celebration. Alright, so throughout the season one of Discipline Engineering, we have been building the baseline habits and the foundations of success and that we are pushing forward to move on to the next season, that at the end of the season, at the end of the year, this is a holiday edition. So this holiday season and this holiday edition, I want you to understand that we have come far, you have come far throughout this year. This has been a very peculiar year. This has been a year like no other. No other that you have experienced. No other that generations before you might have even experienced. But you have come out at the other end successful. You have come out stronger than you began this year. That we began this year with a lot of uncertainties. But look, it's the end of the year and we are still here. We are still standing. We should be grateful that we are still standing. Because many others could not see today. Many others could not make it to the end of this year. Many others could not even see to the end of this month. We have come to the end of another year. We have come to the end of another month. It is time for us to take these three steps. Look, the first step we need to take is to unplug. It is time for us to unplug. It is time to unplug from all the social media, from the television, from the games, from the computers. It is time to unplug and reflect on your life, reflect on your decisions, reflect on your vision, reflect on your dreams, reflect on that career that you chose. It is time to reflect on your passion. It is time to reflect on everything that you've gone through this year. That where could you have done better? Where could, is it that you did your best? Yet, because of circumstances beyond your control, your best was not enough. Look, you don't have to blame yourself, but you have to understand that life happens. Life happened this year. Life happened this month. Life happened three months ago, six months ago. And life will continue to happen. But how you react it's important to how you come out successful. So I need you to unplug. Unplug and reflect on your decisions, okay? What can you do better? It is time to unplug and reflect. Now, the step number two that we must take is to show gratitude. Let us show gratitude for how far we have come. Not just to other people, but to ourselves. Show gratitude to yourself. Look, you have built resilience this year. You have built capacity beyond your imagination that you thought you never had, but you are at the end of the year. If you are at the end of this year, show gratitude to yourself. Show gratitude to the people around you. Show gratitude to the job that you have. Show gratitude to the career that you have, to the entrepreneurship. Look, to the product and the service that you are delivering. Show gratitude. Show gratitude to your customers. Show gratitude to your teachers. Show gratitude to your professors. Show gratitude to the friends and the family that are around you. And I need you to do this third step for me. I need you and I to share the love. Share the love. So many people have lost their jobs. So many people live in uncertainty every single day. They live not knowing what tomorrow holds for them. But I need you and I to share the love. Share the love that we have. This is a season and a time for us to show other people that they mean something to us, that we value them, we value their advice, we value their existence. 
We must show them what it means to be alive. We must show them what it means that we love them. This is the time. Every day you can do that. But if you want to choose a specific time and season of the year, look, this is the time to do it. Look, this big Christmas tree behind me, you don't have to celebrate Christmas to share love. You don't have to celebrate Christmas to unplug and reflect on your life. You don't have to celebrate Christmas to show gratitude to yourself, to others, to your family, to your friends. End the year on a good note so that you can be refreshed and become alive to the possibilities and opportunities that the next year has, that the next two years has. This is the time. Don't let these opportunities pass you by. Okay, this is a holiday edition. Thank you for staying with me for the first season of Discipline Engineering. Stay tuned for season two of Discipline Engineering. We are bringing to you season two. It's going to be different. It's going to be, look, we have built the baseline habit. We have built the foundation of success. We have our vision. We have our goal. We have our dreams. We've started executing. Season two is going to be all about being practical, bringing you resources, bringing you opportunities that you can also achieve your goals. This is YD, your discipline engineer your mentor, your investor, and your coach. This is the end of season one. I want to thank you for spending the time to build a baseline habit and the foundation of success, for learning how discipline can be a crucial part of your life beyond the motivation. That beyond the motivation, we need perseverance. Beyond the motivation, we need consistency. Beyond the motivation, we can push forward and achieve our goals that if we can reach for the moon, you can certainly reach for your goals. Stay tuned. Happy holidays.